everyone welcome back to my channel the MK lady well today's uh, video unboxing is actually going to be an unboxing return and I'll explain why in a minute I do have purse of the day which is a tote which is in my kitchen but I wanted to show you something else I've been working on with one of my Louis Vuittons because it kind of has a little bit of a smell so I decided I would I did have it stored in its dust bag, but now I'm going to keep it out for a bit because of the smell. Outfit of the day is basic black t-shirt and I'm just moving out of the way just to show you and grab the Louis Vuitton dust bag, which is like a massive dust bag. I'm just wearing shorts as well. So the Louis Vuitton dust bag has a bit of a smell. It's kind of like smells musty or old or something. So I think I'm going to hand wash it and give it a better smell. But the one bag I've been working on is the Louis Vuitton Elma PM. Now this is in the, what is this called? Epi leather, I believe. So it's about 18 or so years old so it is on the crook of your arm now it does have loop holes here for a long adjustable strap which i'd plan to use probably a michael kors strap or something because i don't have a black louis vuitton strap but I wanted to show you the inside. So remember I did some repairs here. There was a tear. This is the pocket. And I don't think I'll use the pocket all that much. It's it's like a large size. I'll just grab the BB back here. And you can see the difference. Now this one I got the caramel looking Alma BB in the vernie leather. So you could see the size difference in it. And also what I did buy is also the Kate Spade purse in the blue, kind of to see if I like the shape. And I do like the shape, it's the dome satchel. That just hit me in the mouth, the straps, but so anyways, let me get on to this one. It has like an older smell to it. So I have these Air Plus Natural Bamboo and they help with odors, allergen, mildew, moisture. So you just recharge these. You find them on Amazon, but you recharge these in the sun. So that's what I did. And actually, I have a few different items in here. I have a bounce sheet just to kind of take away that mildewy smell. So I kind of just rubbed it all over. And then I made a little packet of these um, wash beads so that I could have that kind of smell. Like, I'll even take the wash beads and rub it on there. But I have all of these silicone gel packs to take off the moisture and everything. And I could see there's a couple little beads at the bottom, but I hand washed the inside. It was, it was actually pretty stained on the inside, but I managed to get it super clean. So it looks super cute, just like that. Now, mind you, it's 20 years old. I did buy this bag shaper from Amazon for, um, I think it was 20 some dollars. I do have a bounce sheet in there. So Miss, Miss, Miss Exile made in China. And it does have some pockets and zipper. And I did get it in the gray color. So, I mean, I'll put it in there for the video, but I'm gonna take it out and continue to air out that smell. And that's what I suggest if you get a, you know, second pre-loved, secondhand bag that has a bit of a smell, I would suggest getting a bag organizer 
as well as putting all these in and getting these to take that smell out. Now the bag organizer, it was getting that smell as well because I didn't leave it aired out enough. But I mean, the zippers all work. I did take a candle and smooth out the zippers a little bit. Now I don't really plan on zipping it up. It's a little finicky zipping it up. But let's see, how do I get this? So the, the zipper tabs, they do kind of fold over and they are kind of tarnished. I haven't worked on that just yet, but this is supposed to actually fold over. Let's see how this goes. It's actually not folding over the way it should, but maybe because I have it at a different angle or something, but Anyways, that is the Louis Vuitton Alma Baby. So that's what I would suggest. And also if it's dirty on the inside, you can take somewhat of a little bit of a damp cloth and wipe it down. That's what I did. There is still some staining, but I think I did a pretty good job. And I mean, I did wipe out, wipe off the outside with a, 100% water baby wipe and it did come nice and clean and I also did some what do you call that like leather moisturizer I forget where I put it it's probably in my other room but that is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM that I'm working on so the unboxing today now, I absolutely love this color. This is the Coach Willow in the color Ice Purple. It kind of reminds me, I don't know if you remember the dusty rose color that Michael Kors had. So it was kind of like a purpley dusty rose. This kind of reminds me of it. And as much as I love it, I did find it at clearance. Now, Winners is having their 70% off clearance for $148. It was regular $199, and it's this crock embossed, beautiful, nice color leather. Now, I have a problem with it, and let me just grab the strap, and I can show you. So... It does come with an adjustable strap. This is the Willow 24. It does have feet and that is actually about it. And on the inside, it does have these compartments and the middle part attaches to the bottom. So your stuff isn't floating back and forth in there. So I'll just show you. It did actually even come with a dust bag. So this is from the retail store. So there is a magnetic piece in the back. I should give you mod shots first actually. And then you can see. Now this front part can, can, can get kind of sticky. Let's just put this back in there. It does have a hang tag, your usual standard. And then here is the coach tag. So 148, it was regular 425. So I'll just give you a little bit of a mod shot. And you can adjust the straps and you can make it crossbody sit like that, or you can do it on the crook of your arm because it does have a nice hand strap drop from there. Now, the problem I have, okay, so you see how both sides are attached and I wanted to show you, even with nothing in here, it actually, the magnetic doesn't want to stay closed. So there is absolutely nothing in this purse. Um, and I don't know, like, I wish the magnetic stayed closed because then your stuff is more secure. I mean, you can put your wallet and items in the middle part, but when I open up the zipper, it will stay closed. But I don't know, that kind of bugged me. I didn't notice that in the store. Wanted to show you, I got a new wallet. It's a handmade beaded wallet I picked up. So that is my wallet and I'll put my phone in there and my keys are in my tote. So let me zip this up because those are the two things I would like actually to be 
secure in my bag so that no hands can reach in there. So let me just take this part off and I will put my makeup bag in the front. So now it has items in there and then this is kind of finicky to open and close. But again, the middle pieces right in there, I'm trying to show you, um, they don't really attach and it kind of stays open. You can see how the front part is attached right there. And then this kind of just stays open. I mean, I would carry it like with that part towards my body. That was my logic when I found out, but this kind of, the zipper part kind of dips in and doesn't want to line up even with stuff in it so if i were to put items in it see i have to keep that center zip open and i, I kind of don't feel super comfortable with that just because my wallet and my phone i mean if i was just going straight to the office then i would keep it open but the whole point of the zipper is to secure things and I don't know I think it's just kind of like a little bit of a flaw let me just take put my phone in the back and put my wallet in the back and let's see if that works this is turning into a long no see it kind of just bends in there that I don't know they should have put stronger magnets or something like that I don't know what they should have did but it's just not lining up and I know Coach does their purses to perfection, like the stitching, the detailing, but somehow they miss the mark on that magnetic and I just don't feel comfortable with that zipper open all the time. I'd like to zip it up if I'm like in public spaces. So unfortunately, because it bugs me and because it doesn't close properly, that's kind of as much as I love this color, this ice purple, I might have to look for it in a different color because I think this would go with all seasons and it would look really nice with like a brown jacket or something. I don't know. I think it is just going to be a return. I'm just sad about it because it was on sale. It was a deal. These are actually sold out. They are on the outlet, but they are from the retail store. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.